Bagels! Welcome back to my channel, my name is Blaze. Um, I just want to say a quick hey to the new subscribers. Um, I've been watching my subscriber count go up quite a bit recently, which I'm so happy about because it means there's more of you guys, which is super cool. Um, I don't know whether it's because that bath bomb video has been doing kind of well, or I finally was brave enough to share my channel over my social media accounts. I don't know, but either way, I have more subscribers, so I'm pretty happy. Um, I just realised I'm chewing gum. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, right, so today's video is just a kind of a catch-up type thing, telling you guys what's new, because there's quite a bit, and um, asking your guys advice or opinions on a new idea I have for the channel. So, to start off with, before I get any further into this video, my eye makeup is from the Full Spectrum palette, the Metal Matte palette and Colourpop's eyeshadow in Cusp. My lips are NYX Cosmic Metal, what is it, like a lipstick, a lip gloss, um, where is it gone? NYX Cosmic Metal's lip cream in Out of This World, my choker is from Camden, my top is from H&M, that is my cap. <laughs> so. What I wanted to talk about was, of course, as you can see, my hair is, I don't even know what colour to consider this, so if I come closer to the ring light, you can see it's kind of a blondy, gingery, I don't really know what to call it, but as I said in a previous video, I'm working with my hairdresser to gradually lighten my hair to go to a fun, exciting colour, which I'm not sharing with you guys yet because I want it to be a surprise. So that is why my hair looks hideous right now. I hate it. I don't feel like me. If I was going to be any colour that wasn't like a bright fun colour, I would have black, obviously. Um, that's what I feel comfortable in. And so I really don't like having this hair colour at the moment. I don't feel like me. So that's why I put a lot of makeup on today to make me feel more like me. So the second thing that is different is um, in my tattoo advice or my first tattoo video I talked about getting another one and I did and I said about getting the pierce the veil inspired or a, a pierce the veil tattoo but I didn't just want the logo or like something that everyone has so I wanted to get something a little bit different so I did in case you haven't watched that video which what are you <laughs> Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Tom wants me to film because there's a million distractions going on right now. Um, yeah, so um, for Pierce the Veil's latest album, Misadventures, there was like a pre-order thing and in the pre-order thing is this book and in this book is loads of um, thick lead guys handwriting and drawings and stuff like that. Um, so I wanted this as a tattoo um obviously not that exact thing copied straight onto my arm because it's a bit rough and it's not quite finished it's literally just a doodle so um i sent the picture to my tattoo artist and i was like i love this but i want it to match my other tattoos um and fit in with my like theme um so she designed it and i got there saw it and i loved it so that's what i got so this is the tattoo. I only got it uh, three days ago, so it definitely needs to heal. I can't see the viewfinder if you can even see that here. Yeah. So she's done like a different technique here, so it's kind of like more like smoke rather than just like lines. But I'm really happy with it. I think it's really cool, and I got it on this arm to balance my arms out. So I'm a bit more balanced um so far those are the only tattoos i have i have many many more plans i just have to wait for some more money <laughs> um right so that is the other thing that's new the last thing that's new is <laughs> i'm sure throughout this video you've heard lots of little noises and scratches and distractions and that is because i have a kitten i finally have a kitten i'm so happy so i've been wanting a pet for so long um i was never allowed them at home um especially because um she's going everywhere um all of my siblings are allergic to cats so i wasn't allowed a cat and then no one's at home long enough during the day to look after a dog and take it out and stuff like that so we never really had pets like my brother had a hamster and i had some fish and that was the extent that the pets went 
So um, I like obviously have told Jake many, many times I would love a pet and now we're in our own flat. We could finally get one so he bought me a kitten and she is the cutest thing. Would you guys like to see her? Because she is the best. This is Pumpkin. Can you see yourself? Say hello. And she has green eyes, too much for makeup. She does not know what's going on. So we were looking online at um, like pets for sale or um, you know, people who are like, I've moved house and I can't have my pet anymore. I need to go to a good home and stuff like that. And originally Jake found an ad for a three month year old, three month year old? A three month old cat or technically still a kitten, I guess. Um, black kitten, which was, I said, I don't mind the gender, I don't mind how old, I would just love a black cat. Um, so he found a little three month old kitten who was a female, and so he, he found a couple of ones and he messaged all of them. Two people replied, one said, Sorry, the cat's sold, like we've already, like it's gone to another home. And then this one said, The three month old kitten has been sold, but we have a nine week old kitten who is like, available to be rehomed so would you like to come and see her and that was on the Friday so after work on Sunday we went to go and see her with the intent to buy her because I was like I want a kitten and we got there and she is the world's cutest kitten I love her so much so um, and it turns out the three month old kitten they decided to keep it instead of getting rid of say getting rid of not so mean keeping it instead of rehoming it but then they decided they were going to rehome it anyway so they said do you want one or two like you can take both if you want both I was like oh my god Jake can we get two and then he just looked at me like like our flat is tiny it's like a little open plan so like the living room my studio the kitchen dining area Jake's computer is like all in one room um so it was not a good plan to get two so we just opted for the tiny nine week old kitten I named her pumpkin and she is the love of my life she is literally my baby like i had loads of plans this month with my wages to get a second tattoo there was loads of makeup that i wanted to buy i was going to buy some stuff from killstar and i ended up spending all my like extra bit of money after my rent and bills and stuff all on stuff for pumpkin so she's probably kitted out she's got everything a kitten could need plus more um but my makeup collection will have to wait to expand she makes the cutest noises she is so playful like obviously I know kittens are playful but she is like extra um, yeah <laughs> that is what is new in my life right now I'm a cat mum which is pretty exciting she's currently chewing on my shoes so yeah I just want to explain that's why there's gonna be lots of odd little noises and stuff around when I'm filming my videos so there's gonna be lots of noises and distractions in my videos at the moment which I'm so sorry about but like I said my flat's open plan I can't like shut her away she's not allowed in my bedroom because I'm somewhat allergic to cats um, it's just if I like touch my face too much while I'm petting a cat or if I had it on my face so um, I can't let her in the bedroom in case she like sleeps on my pillows and on my bed and stuff because then I would be allergic so I can't shut her away so also her auntie Kerry bought her a very noisy toy which she loves so there's going to be a lot of that <laughs> in the video um yeah so the new idea, it's not new but the idea I had for my channel is um as you guys know Halloween is coming up which I'm so excited about and I was thinking of doing the 31 days of Halloween tag challenge I don't I don't really know what it is I don't know if it's even an official thing but I know some people have done it before so I was considering giving it a go this year so um, I'm not entirely sure I haven't planned it all out yet which is why I wanted to ask you guys about it because I definitely want to do some um, obviously makeup videos some costume ideas I wanted to bring witchcraft into it a little bit um, because sewing is a huge um, Sabbath is my favorite Sabbath so I wanted to include you guys in that some hauls because I buy way too much at Halloween and then some vlogs of the stuff that I get up to in October so um, let me know down below what um, costume and makeup ideas you would like to see um, let me know if you have any other ideas like I do want to do a little bit of crafty DIY type videos for the 31 days of Halloween um, but my only issue is with that is I go back to uni in the beginning of October so at first it's not going to be too full-on but as it gets more towards the end of October 
um, I start getting a couple of deadlines and I start getting um, a little bit busy and also I work in a costume store so as you can imagine Halloween is hell <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be super busy at work so a lot of the videos especially makeup costume and craft videos will have to be filmed in advance so I would begin filming um, late August to you know, mid-September, um, get as many of those filmed and edited as possible so that when it gets to each day I literally just have to click upload, sort the thumbnail and that's it. Um, like I said, the beginning of October is not too bad, I can generally get away with filming like vlogs and hauls and stuff like that, but as it gets towards the end I barely have time to eat <laughs> in between work and uni and everything like that so um, I really 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 want to do this but I'm not entirely sure if it's feasible at the moment but I'm gonna really really try and make sure it's because I'm putting a lot of energy into YouTube and stuff at the moment because I'm really enjoying it so yes also on that note my aim is to hit 1,000 subscribers before the 31st of October so we can have lots of people here for Halloween so that is my plan so it would be so good if you could share any of the videos or just show them to your friends um, I don't know whatever if you're not subscribed but you're watching this hit the subscribe button wherever it is <laughs> I have no idea um, yeah so it would be really really cool also I've seen a lot of people using the I don't know like Sarah so I don't know what it is that weird new loads of these things seem to pop up um, when I was in school it was I don't remember there was like a variant of it when I was in school and then Curious Cat came around and that got a bit popular and now there's this one so basically you can just anonymously ask questions to people and they can respond uh, they get really big and then they just disappear off the face of the internet and then a couple of years later a new one comes out so there's a new one right now and I've seen loads of people use it but I myself don't have one yet but I really want to film a Q&A because like I said, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of new subscribers on this channel so a lot of you guys may not know a lot about me or the channel or anything in general so I'm going to set up one of those little accounts, I will post the name here, it's probably just going to be Macabre Goddess like everything else except my Snapchat. <laughs> Um, so if you have a question for me or Jake I guess, but not that he really features on this channel much, but if you do have a question for him, so uh, it can be about me personally, it can be about the channel, goth lifestyle, makeup, fashion, uh, witchcraft, basically anything that I talk about, feel free to ask me questions about it and then I'm going to film a QA and a video. I want to do a QA and a with a twist, so... I'm not entirely sure what that twist is yet, but I'm going to figure it out because I want to make it a little more interesting than just me blabbering on. Like this video, just blabbering on. So yeah, um, I'll post the link down below so you can ask me questions for the q and I'm not sure when it will be, but when I feel I have enough questions to warrant doing a QA, and a then I will film it. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry if it's been boring. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys' opinion and give you a little update. I didn't want to just film a video with, you know, pumpkin walking past in the background and my new hair and just not mention it. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you would like to see in my 31 days of Halloween. And if you have any name suggestions, um, incorporating like my name or the channel name in that title 31 days of halloween to make it a little more interesting and unique to this channel so yeah um don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye